place land. I, when I had my hip replaced last Wednesday, um, and went on medical leave, the Smith College where I work got me a replacement, but I didn't think there was any need for me to cut off communication with my team completely. So today I'm just going to show you how we can use Web2 technology, in this case Skype, to stay in touch with, with our team. Uh, what you're going to see over the next couple of minutes is you're going to see one of my uh, team members, Mercedes Pepper, from California. You're going to see her set up her laptop uh, by the side of the court. Call me up on Skype so that I'm able to watch my players play on court. And then you're going to see me uh, watching and taking some notes. Then you're going to see my player come off court, um, take a look at the notes that I've sent her over the chat. So she's going to walk off the court at Smith College, which is 60 miles away from here. She's going to walk off the court. She's going to look at my advice to her in between games, and I'm actually going to talk to her. And, uh, and that's it. You're going to see how easy this is and how easy it is to use Web2 technology to stay in touch with your team. Obviously, there are other uses. Uh, if you're coaching um, elite athletes, players out on the tour, there's nothing to stop a, a tour player from setting their laptop up in the stands so you can get a clear view of the action. Uh, there's no reason why they can't walk over to the laptop, look at the advice that you've given them, or even communicate with you directly. So let's give Web2 a shot. Sarah, yeah. is anybody coaching Andrea? Uh, do you want to coach yeah, if you look down, hey Andrea, if you look at the chat, I've got three comments for you. <laughs> do you see it? You got it? Yep. Okay, great effort and hustle. That's good. And your hard serves are working too. Nice job. <laughs> 